Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia. And in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real life situations in my country and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our background, our history and our culture. And today I have just returned from our local bazaar or marketplace which is not far away from the place where I live. Uh, I guess you start thinking that there are so many places not far away from the place where I live, but it is true about middle-sized cities and I love that about my Lutsk and about many cities in Ukraine. And also our bazaar is located in a very um, unusual place, really close to the castle that I have already shown to you. And there are pros and cons of that because the scenery is not always beautiful with all these small shops and uh, things that are left after the market day. But from the other point of view, it has been on that location for centuries. And this also adds up something interesting to the atmosphere. And this is a market where uh, people sell their farmers goods. And I cannot tell you that it is Ukrainians are very much into organic things and there are still some negative things about Ukrainian farmers who like to add fertilizers and to grow big things. So very often in Ukraine it is more about supermarket that you can find something super organic there. But I do like buying things from this like older ladies who give you stories together with the product that they sell. And today I will introduce you to the things and products that I have bought on our market. Okay, so let me introduce to everything that I have bought today on our local market. Hello, greetings for me. And uh, first, the green things. Rukola became very popular here in Ukraine and the climate is perfect for it. Then parsley, we added to almost everything. And the same is about dill. Dill is a favorite dressing, if it's possible to say so, a spice to go with um, spring potatoes. Also, this is salad that we make salads with and the popular mixture will be tomatoes, cucumbers and salad or radish and they are sold in such bouquets and I personally like it because it keeps them fresh longer. And also beetroots. I'm sure you know that Ukrainians are very much into beetroots and these are young beetroots, spring beetroots. They are good for salads or for borscht. Young borscht is different from uh, the old one. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it, but for me, maybe it's even tastier. And some people even use the stems to add them to the borscht or soup. And we also eat them boiled in salads, like first you boil and then you make a salad, or we eat them fresh. And this is rhubarb. It's very popular in my region in the west of Ukraine and simply boiled in a compote to drink or with strawberries. And also we make pies with them, just something similar to an apple pie, but I personally like it a lot. Also, Ukrainians eat <laughs> lots of onions and garlic, and these are our local spices, and spring onions are very popular for salads, or you can even like take one and eat it with salt and with borscht. And uh, this is the first uh, farmer's uh, strawberries. I'm not a huge fan of strawberries, but of course I like the season when they come. And typically we eat them with uh, like sugar, some people like to dip them in honey and a very traditional thing will be mashed strawberries with sour cream. You know that Ukrainians are very much into sour cream and uh, it is even more popular than strawberries with cream or strawberries with ice cream. So a very typical a food will be uh, mashed strawberries or dessert mashed strawberries, sugar, uh, sour cream and uh, some uh, sweet bread. We call them bulka and I have bought one. I'm not a fan of this kind of uh, dough but uh, it's really tasty, it's sweet, it does not have any filling but it has nuts and uh, raisins and um, like back in my childhood and especially in my parents childhood it was a very common type of supper or a very common type of dessert to mash the strawberries with sour cream and to add up some 
uh, sweet uh, bread or some cookies or uh, whatever. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support that you demonstrate with your comments, with your questions, with your uh, coffees that you buy me and for becoming my patrons. I greatly value our conversations and I wish all of you tasty strawberries and nice summer and hopefully this summer will turn into a summer of victory for my country because this is so really important for all of us and for the world in uh, general. Once again, if you like my vlogs, do subscribe because the more subscribers I have, the more information I can share about Ukraine and I value this chance greatly. Slavo Ukraini!